guys. We're here. It is Friday and the coolest thing is that it's six o'clock and it's not pitch black. That's a pretty big advantage for sure. Cause just like a month ago, it was dark at 4.30. Chris is gonna go see if the generator will start because it is like minus 21. But it's supposed to, uh, sorry, I'm putting groceries. It's supposed to warm up like considerably tomorrow. So that's excellent. Um, my dad's gonna come out and Chris is gonna get the plow truck and they're gonna start on the airstrip. So we got a fly-in plan for mid-March. Um, lots of interest and so, so excited. Last year was pretty great, even though we had to keep it pretty small. You know, COVID or whatever. But I think this year's gonna be bigger and better. So yeah, that'll be fun. See you about a couple of big pieces of equipment out on the lake tomorrow. Um, getting that runway ready to go. So thanks for coming and thanks for sharing in this adventure with us. We're super stoked to have you guys here for another amazing cabin weekend. I don't know what it is, but I feel extra excited about this weekend. Maybe it's because it's going to get warmer. I'm not sure. Glad you're here. The consensus is that tin roofs are awesome. So much easier than trying to drag snow off our crappy old roof last winter. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. February 5th and Chris took off to get the plow truck this morning first thing and he's meeting my dad at the other end of the lake because we don't have lake access here and they're gonna drive the hoe in the plow truck across I'm hanging out here with Olive and I'll get the fire going down by the lake so we can get warmed up later and help out putting up some signs and we're gonna work on that strip today so it's a little unnerving always when you're driving across the lake, but especially in a plow truck. But I did want to talk about something that's kind of looming in the news and on all of our Canadian minds, and that is the trucker rally. Some of you know that um, I grew up in the trucking industry and Chris very much works in um, the natural resources industry and that is where our roots come from so um, naturally we would probably support a movement you know by blue collar workers but this one um, is different so we just want to give a shout out to those truckers out there in Ottawa and across the country who are all trying to support each other and uh, let you guys know that we appreciate you and we're behind you 100%. So, thanks. That's what it's all about, right? Is freedom. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. <laughs> but thanks for coming along. And let's go see what's going on at the ice strip. They just got here. You should hear the lake. It's like, <laughs> I guess it's a lot of weight, but 
Last time we checked, we had uh, like just about 36 inches of ice. So it's way more than enough. I think it's pretty brave. I was like, I'll just wait at the cabin for you guys. <laughs> You're gonna go out there and figure out the headings and mark out the strip and make a plan. This is going down. So exciting. Last year when we had the first fly-in, somebody dubbed it the Mayor Port <laughs> because our last name's Mayor. So we're just kind of running with that. So today is the first day of development on the 2022 Mayor Port. We're a little earlier this year, but the conditions haven't been as good as last year. Like last year the temperatures were pretty consistent. This year it's been like extremely cold, extremely hot, a ton of snow, which is like really provided the perfect opportunity for tons of ruts and hard uh, ridges and stuff like that. So they really just wanted to make sure that um, they could get it nice and smooth for all planes because uh, it's not just for wheeled planes, it's, or pardon me, it's not just for ski planes it's uh wheel planes as well because my dad flies wheeled planes so it's pretty exciting they're down there making a plan olive's feeling a little left out chasing around the plow truck we're hoping we can get some stairs in uh before the fly-in right now our lake access is less than desirable it's actually nothing short of completely terrifying. The stairs right there, you can see, there, they end there. So then from there on, it's just like a uh, bobsled, slalom. <laughs> Especially right now, it's just sheer ice. So that's not really acceptable. Everybody likes to come up and check out the cabin and have a hot dog, coffee. So. That's another thing that we're gonna try and do is get some decent stairs in the bottom half. So, yeah. It's a very, very exciting day for us. Thanks for coming. this parking lot. We'll be able to fit a few planes here for sure. Olive, no. You stay here. This is happening. Hitched a ride in a plow truck. <laughs> and it's making really quick work of it. So it's pretty exciting. My dad's working on the parking lot and the taxiways, and Chris is working on the runway. I'm totally not scared at all. <laughs> it is a little terrifying, 
Well, they're almost done. Uh, unbelievable progress in one day. So it turns out that the airstrip is going to be 3,800 feet long, <laughs> which is incredible, and 100 feet wide. So we're excited to have some airplanes come down. So stay tuned for that in a future video. It's gonna be pretty incredible. I'm hoping that we get a good turnout this year. Thanks for coming along. Welcome to the mayor port. I hope it's not too windy. I forgot my mics. This is totally awesome, right? Check it out. We're gonna get to go flying. The big, the plow trucks, big blades ripping on the runway. And the parking lot is nearly complete already. There's a 12 foot snow blade on that hoe. So that thing is super efficient also. I guess they're learning last year, all they had was a pickup with a plow, which was amazing. Our friends uh, who have a snow removal company came out and helped. I'm so grateful for them. But uh, this year it's a lot faster. As far as I know, this is the only ice strip that's ever been put in on our lake. So that's kind of sweet. Special. <laughs> Keep going, here we go. Well, day three cabin hair. <laughs> Super glamorous, I know. Brutal. <laughs> you know what I miss a lot about summer is my outdoor shower. <laughs> anyway, it'll come. We're actually um, far enough from winter solstice now that we've gained two hours a day of sunlight, which is pretty significant and awesome. It's so windy today. There's just no way that we can do any filming outside. There's 90 kilometer an hour winds. Uh, Chris went down to the lake and got some footage of it because we were sitting outside and I said, just look out there. Like it looks like a documentary off of, um, National Geographic, you know, like where you just expect to see the polar bears walk out across the blowing tundra. Anyways, check that out.
crazy, right? It's crazy windy. We're wrapping up a uh, totally epic and awesome cabin weekend. Got the airstrip in. Um, Chris got a bunch of chores done. I did the pink jobs, fed everybody, and it was awesome. So we're pretty stoked. And hopefully when the wind goes away, we'll be getting some airplanes. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye because I need a shower. <laughs> so we have to go home thanks again for coming if you love these videos please hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel have a great day bye so we get home and <laughs> it's beautiful out so we're like oh let's hang out outside so we're hanging out outside let me go in and get a few things done i'm unpacking and the outdoor speaker, wireless speaker, is missing from my bag, but it was like tucked in the side. And both of us noticed it, it turns out. <clears throat> it was like in the back of the skidoo. So now it's gone, and now we have to go back and hunt for it. So I guess we get to be outside like we wanted. <laughs> you did say you felt like you forgot something. I did feel like I forgot something. You're right. Yes, we did. Olive is so tired. Look. And she really just wants to be at home babysitting her chickens. <laughs> but, too bad. We're going for a hike in 90 kilometer an hour winds. I hope we don't blow away. find it? Yeah. <laughs> right where I left it? Yeah. I gotta climb up this mountain again.